This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out some products from Ellen Nailed It. If you guys don't know her, she's really big on Instagram, but she was the whole nail tech behind the plastic wrap nails that everybody was doing last year. She reached out to me and wanted to send me some of her products, so I was like, sure. And you know, I was expecting a little package, a little PR package, you know, I always get those, but this box right here is huge. She sent a lot of stuff. I did a mini unboxing on my Instagram. Some of you may have already seen this, but I'm just gonna dive in and let's see everything that she sent over. All right, so it was nearly impossible to fit everything that was inside this box on my desk at one time. This is majority of the stuff that was sent over. Thank you so much, Ellen. So the first box here is this pink and it says Ellen nailed it. And this one is a collection of her glitters. Super gorgeous. We have some French tip cutters. We got some nail charms, jelly butterflies and bears. Got some nail tips. These are chrome powders. Got some nail foils. Got some nail art brushes. Oh, they're double sided actually. So on this side, we got the five little bristle. And on the other end, it's the seven. This is actually gonna come in handy. I can never have enough nail art brushes. So thank you for this. <laughs> so yeah, and they're all different sizes. I really, really like that because depending on what type of art you're doing, you're gonna need like a lot of sizes. <laughs> and then this one here is a Kalinsky 3D brush. And ooh. There is nothing like a super pointy 3D brush <laughs> because they do kind of lose their pointiness, um, especially if they're not like high quality, but Kalinsky is where it's at. Got some sanding bands. So this one's 240 and this one's 150 grit. So, okay, can never have too many of those. Got some more nail art stuff. Oh, these are designer. Got some Chanel and Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, I can definitely use these. She sent over a lot of her gel polishes and they're all kind of like shimmery. We got some light shimmeries and then um, this box here is some darker glitters. Very, very fall-esque. Oh, now that's gonna be pretty. You never know what you're gonna get with glitter polishes because sometimes they can be a little thin, but this stuff here looks good. Okay. But the thing that I am most excited about is this airbrush. This airbrush system. Yes, she sent over her airbrush system. I've never used an airbrush before, so this should be fun. <laughs> so yeah, I, I need to read through this to see how to use it. But I've been doing a little bit of research. I looked up some tips for a few videos. I'll leave a link down to one that was really, really helpful. We gonna see, cause um, I, I kinda wanna up my game, you know? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Oh man, I don't know what I'm doing. Let me just take everything out. Okay, you get, you get the dropper. I was wondering if it came with one of these. Um, But you know what? I'ma just go ahead and do some nails first. Um, So let me just get to that and I'll get back to this airbrush. Look who's up from her nap. <laughs> you don't ever wanna let mommy work, do you? So let's see if she'll sit in her playpen while I can try to record this video. All right, so she is in her playpen. So now I can get back to work. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do some nail prep. This is the same hand that my thumb is recovering. As you guys can see, it's slowly growing back in. And the part you see right there is where it's actually attached. Everything else isn't. So we're just gonna let that be. I'm not putting anything on this nail. Let me push back my cuticles and take the opposite end and scrape up any of that dead skin. 
Next, I'm gonna take my nail drill and we're gonna put it on six. And I have my cuticle bit here. And I am just going to work this around the cuticles to further get up the dead skin and crust. Next, I'm just gonna use one of Ella Nailed It sanding bands. And this one's the finer one. And I'm just going to take the shine away from my nails. All right, and just going to clip off excess nail. All right, and then I'm just gonna even out the nail. All right, so now I'm just gonna put on some nail tips. Now Ellen did send over her nail tips and they are really pretty, but they're clear. And the design that I'm going for, I need like a natural color. So that's why I'm using these and we're not doing the thumb. So I don't know why I grabbed that one, <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and size these. Got my sizes all picked out and now I'm gonna apply my nail tips. All right, so I got my nail tips prepped and I know they are a little long, but shh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna apply my nail prep. And primer. I said I was gonna do something a little different. I wanna do a ombre using gel polish. So I'm gonna go in with these two. So I'm only painting the tips. I think I may have to do two coats of this. But now you guys see why I didn't wanna use the clear tips because I needed, you know, like a natural base so that this a very shimmery light color can show up. And go ahead and cure that. All right, I had to take a slight intermission. I had to put my hair up, it was getting hot. And Maya is asleep, so hopefully I could get some work done before she wakes up. So I already got the gel polish on the tips. I'm going to go in with my acrylic. I also forgot to mention that Ellen nailed it, um, sent over this gorgeous dampen dish. It is so pretty. It's red, a lotus. I'm using the Kiara Sky Monomer, the Anacrylics Clear Mia Secret Cover Peach. Ooh, and I still am slowly getting used to the smell of monomer. Ooh, gotta get back used to it. And the brush I'm gonna be using is my number eight Kalinsky brush, available on my website, longhairprettynails.com. All right, so I am first going to cap all the nail polish with clear acrylic, just with a thin layer. So this is pretty much for when I go in with the cover color at the nail bed that this will, that it will blend over this without any issues. And like I said, this layer is just a thin layer. I'll go back in and build the nail up after I have everything blended. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with that cover peach and we're just gonna blend this like a regular ombre. I've been wanting to try this gel polish ombre and man, I can already see that this is what took me so long because this is so easy and it comes out looking really good. Still trying to get the hang of acrylic. It's like if you don't use it, you'll lose it. And I have not been using it. <laughs> That's okay. I 
can fix all of this with filing. My main goal is just to get the blend right. All right, so I got all of the nail beds laid. And as you guys can see, I didn't really build up the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and cap all of these with clear and build the nail up and all the apex and all that good stuff. So now since everything is laid, I'm gonna go ahead and do my filing and shaping with this fan on. <laughs> Nails are all filed, shaped, and buffed. Now for this. Like I said, this is my first time using an earbrush. So let me read through this for a second. Okay, I hope this comes with better instructions because I don't understand. Okay, nothing else but that little wrench, I think. That might be for something. <laughs> I'm just winging this because like I said, I ain't never used this before. <laughs> All right, so, okay, blue light comes on. Let's just see what this sounds like. Easy enough. I'll be sure to link the video down below, but I can't remember the name. Let me see if it's in my history because it was very, very informative and I need to thank her because I was like, oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it was this video by The Gems Co. Really, really good one. So that's the tips that I'm gonna use. I am not a professional. I am not a professional nail tech. I am a DIYer. I only do my own nails, so if something's wrong here and this is not what is supposed to be done, then. So I also picked up these airbrush stencils. I got these from Amazon. I actually got two kinds. I got this circle one. You really can't see. Okay, now you can see. But yeah, this one here. And then I also got like this rectangle one. So let me kind of just sort through here. There was a heart in here that I wanted to use. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I wanted to use that heart. The video I watched, she was showing us how to do the airbrush with gel polish. And I also know that you can like buy your own airbrush inks, but I have a lot of gel polish. So we're just gonna go with that method. Apparently it's kind of controversial, I don't know, but it seemed to work, so, you know. What she used was gel polish and acetone. So I have my Pure Sky Pure Acetone. This is a really, really good white. It's very pigmented, it's thick, and I think it's gonna be the best as far as this airbrush stuff goes. So I'm gonna start off with just a little bit of this, cause like I said, this stuff is thick. Let's do a few drops. Got the acetone and we're gonna put some of that in here. 
gonna see if that's enough. And she said, you need to stir this up really, really good. I think eventually I probably will buy some of the airbrush inks because I'm not really for all the mixing. I just wanna drip it in here and be ready to go. <laughs> all right, let's see. Okay. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Nothing's coming out. <laughs> Can't even get anything to come out. All right. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god! What am I doing? It's just blowing air. Okay, so I went back and. <laughs> I don't know. Mine isn't doing what hers is doing. I don't understand. I might have to revisit this. This is nothing coming out. Why? It's been a long time since I've had a fail, but I think this is a fail. And I don't like giving up, so. I really want to see if it's something that I can do to get this to work because I wanted some airbrush. All right, I am done. <laughs> oh my goodness. So while fiddling with this airbrush thing, I cracked the rest of my unattached nail. So yeah, this thing, oh, I'm gonna have to, everybody kept telling me I needed to cut it off and I was just like, ew, no. Ugh. Oh God. Ew, y'all, it's moving. Oh, but I don't want this to get caught on nothing. So, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I know this is disgusting. Ew. Oh my God. <laughs> I think I may edit this part out because this is nasty. <laughs> okay. Okay. It. It don't look as bad. Oh, it look like it's another nail growing. Oh my goodness. Ew. <laughs> I need to regroup. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, so. Okay, what happened? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so instead of just pushing it down, you need to also pull this back to open up the hole to let the Oh, I was wondering why it wasn't moving in there. Yeah, so this just pushes your air out. Okay. But pulling it back then opens the valve so you can get your, your paint to go through with the air. <sighs> this is why we need men. <laughs> you know <it. laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'm excited again because I was I was really about to end this video. This video is about to be ended. So let me do it again. We gonna, I ain't wasted so much of my Madam Glam white polish, y'all. <coughs> I think you ought to wear a mask when you're doing this. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Cause I was a little defeated. I was like, I had like plans. This is gonna be a little difficult. You need like multiple hands. Okay. And then we gonna clip it. That's the best I could do right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this because I don't want it to mess up. <laughs> it's a little better. I think I'm gonna stick with the hearts though. 
we have, you know, we got something. We got more than what we had. <laughs> Right, maybe you know, maybe airbrush is just not a thing that you can do on yourself. We gonna finish up here real soon. All right, so yeah, overspray <laughs> has been cured onto my middle finger. This right here, um, we gonna we gonna work with this. We gonna work with this because I can see myself getting better, but this is just my first time. Like I just I just don't know. <laughs> We gonna just do something to make me feel better and we going in with some crystals, okay? So, I got my gold crystal kit here and it's gorgeous. And we're just gonna, just gonna make this do what it do, okay? Because I'm done trying for today. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with my tried and true Poochie's nails gel and top coat and we just gonna we're gonna put some crystals on here like we're just gonna be done you know I tried <laughs> I really tried <laughs> and then the top coat on top that made me feel better already let me let me just zoom in <laughs> That makes me feel better already. Cause, ooh, this airbrush was a fail. All right, so this is how I'm saving the set. I'm just gonna put my cuticle oil on. We're gonna put you over here too. Cause, oh, can't believe how that thumb looks. All right, so here is the finished look. The crystals saved it, for me at least. <laughs> <laughs> um, the best part about these nails is the ombre though. That was really easy to do. I'll revisit airbrushing, you know, try to troubleshoot, try to, you know, get better. Like I said, this was my first time, so I'm just, a little defeated right now. But at any rate, thank you so much, Ellen Nailed It, for sending me a PR package. I really do appreciate it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fail of a video, but <laughs> we made it through. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna end it here and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace. This is the outro to the Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah.